everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Playing With Kristen. And I do have a review on this Webster's Pages pen case. Um, if you remember, this was sent to me by my really good friend, Jaredelle, when she sent me my Webster's A5 planner. Um, and she sent me a personal size Webster's planner too. Very, very generous. She's awesome. I love her. Um, but even though she sent me this for free, I am still going to review it. Um, you know, all opinions are my own. I mean, I have nothing bad to say. Let's just get that out of the way. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because it was a free item. I mean, this is a really, really nice pen case. But I did just want to tell you, show you, you know, the inside of it, the pens I have in there, in case you are thinking about buying a pen case. I do not know the price of this while doing this video, but I will put the price in there in the description bar when you see this video so you will know the price um, and everything. So this is what it looks like. It matches my A5, um, which she did on purpose, which I love that she color coordinated it. Uh, it has this really pretty gold chevron print. It has a gold zipper. And this is what the back looks like. It says Webster's Pages. You guys can't really tell, but it says it um, right here. Can we focus a little bit? All right. There we go. It says Webster's Pages. And let's go back up. So that is what it looks like. It's pretty thin once it's zipped up right there. So it's easy. You can easily throw this into your purse, your book bag, your briefcase, backpack, whatever. So we're going to open it up. And what I keep in here, these are not all of my pens, by the way. These are my most used pens that I keep in here. And um, I love that the inside is just this really bright pink. It's completely different from the outside. And I love it. It's white polka dots. And... It reminds me a lot of the UB case. It's just smaller. So if you have the UB case that is sold at Target that they have for back to school, then this is very similar to that. Um, but unlike the UB case, this doesn't have a, a thread down the middle. So you do have the option of having a little bit more space when it comes to putting pens in here. So I have a few pens in here. Um, these are some pen towels and uniballs, some acro balls, pi and some pilots over here and some... Um, Statlers, some Sharpies, some Mambies, and some paper, a paper made flare, and these are some friction ones I got from Influencer. Um, I, re I really like this case. I really like it because it's compact. It usually just sits open on my desk like this, which explains why the back is kind of dirty, but nothing a baby wipe cannot take care of. It zips fine. I'm just going to zip it up. I don't, I don't have a problem with it, like, you know, because this was brand new, and sometimes with brand new stuff, um, when you get it, the zipper kind of, you know, snags a little bit. The zipper is fine. Um, and you open up in the pockets, the inside of each pocket, well, not the netted one, but it has, it's like this um, soft material um, that I can't really describe. Let me see if I can show you. It looks like this underneath it, and it protects your pens. So if you want to put pencils in here, it will protect them. And I don't think the UV case has anything like that. So it does protect your pens. The netted part I don't really use because I don't have any pens that are this short. But this is great if you ever want to put page flags, stickers in here, something um, a little bit decorate, uh, decorative that you want to put in there. But this is mainly the amount of pens that I keep in here because these are my most used. Uh, it is a little bit padded right here. So, I mean, you'd have to really try to destroy your pens to destroy them in here. And I love that it has a little bit of cushion in here. And I really just love this pen case i think it's really nice and um this trim right here is not all the way white it's like a more like a i don't know like a tan color sort of it's like it's not all the way white like this it's like between i don't know like a tan like the color of my countertop <laughs> um but yeah i love the pink polka dot i think it's made very very well i don't have any complaints about it i mean i haven't really taking it anywhere to see how it holds up i probably i will be taking it to vegas with me but as far as any real complaints like with me not be able to get pins out or anything i haven't had that problem the pins slide in there very well the ones with the clips on them slide very well i mean the mandy ones i mean they slide in there well because they don't have any clips on them um the sharpie ones I and mean, there's no problems with any of the pins the only thing i wish i wish was on here that was a little bit higher i wish this pocket was maybe up here that way the pins with the clips as you can see um can you know slide in there like that like the sharpie because if i put this in here you know they kind of 
get lost in there. But I mean, it's nothing that I think would stop me if I were to buy this case. It would, it's nothing that would stop me from actually buying it. It's just, you know, a personal preference. But overall, I think this fits a good amount of pins. Over here, this is pretty full. I wouldn't try to stuff any more pins over here. I can fit a few more over here, but it also depends on the size of your pins. Like with Statlers, your regular Statler pins, you can fit quite a few in here. Um, but if you have something like these, like, you know, the Acro Balls, which are kind of thick, you're not gonna be able to fit a ton um, in here, but you're gonna fit, you're, you'll be able to fit a good amount. Sorry, I can't talk today. Uh, but yeah, I really do like um, this pen case. I think it's very well made. I love the color combination. I love the white. It's just very striking. It's very, it's very pretty. I love it because it also matches my office, so I'm a little bit biased. But yeah, I really just want to come on and do a quick video um, for you guys to uh, let you know what I think about this case because I've had it for a while. And so with that said, I'm going to get out of here. If you have any comments or questions about anything I didn't mention in this video, leave them down below and I will see you all next time.